Welcome back everyone, I just want to make sure you guys know about this competition that I'm running. If you missed the last episode, first episode of Cape York, all you have to do to win yourself a 40 litre Dobbinson 12 volt fridge for your rig, you have to follow A2 Offroad on Instagram, and you have to be subscribed to my channel and leave a like and comment in the first video. More comments, more entries, only in Australia. This week's episode, you can win yourself a shower awning tent from Outback Campus. So again, you've got to follow them on Instagram, be subscribed to my channel, Leave as many comments as you want, more comments, more entries. You guys know the deal. I want to welcome all of my new subscribers. I want to thank you guys so much for buying my heart for coming to my channel and I appreciate all the comments you have left. It means the world to me guys that I, that I can continue to keep bringing this content to you guys. Now, let's get into this episode. Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Days Off Adventures. What's up today mate? Oh, so today we're going to be heading off to... G'day mate. You alright mate? Can we help you? We're just um, doing a video here. Do you mind? Yeah. All right, let's give us a minute. <laughs> All right, so today... Yeah. <laughs> we're going to hit the tally track. That's what we're doing. Tally track. Let's get stuck in. Go. Let's get in. Got there. How quickly do you think it'll melt? Uh, I'll give it two minutes. It's getting sloppy already. I reckon so you're going to yeah, finish yeah. it before it melts. Yeah. If I do it like this. One gulp. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to episode two of the Cape trip. Today is the day. We are at Bramwell Station. Um, we've camped the night. We're doing final checks on the cars. This is what I have been preparing for. This is what we all have been preparing for. This is, I guess, like the pinnacle of full driving is the tally track so we've got mixed reports on how the uh, track is palm creek is going to be the first obstacle is pretty much straight there on the track so we're all worried about palm creek because it's pretty well over the years turned into gunshot so we really don't know again we're doing our final checks getting some energy pumped from the sun into our batteries and this is it this is absolutely it this is what we're doing. We are prepping. Oh, that sun is very. We're prepping. We are ready to go. I'm a little bit ex overexposed in the back, but we'll get that sorted. I've got Davo, the mechanic, on my car. <laughs> He's um, making sure everything's good to go. And um, that's what we're doing this morning getting ready. How are we looking, Davo? Good, mate. Um, my engine's still in there. Engine. Uh, <laughs> It's, it's, st it's still an engine. Stock life. Which is good. There's no leaks. No leaks. Nothing too crazy. Just a lot of red dust. Yep. But um, we got. We might chuck some oil. Yeah, that's fine. Our water in there. Don't chuck oil. In there. Don't chuck oil in the uh, in the washes. window washers. But pretty well. I'm running pretty stock. Besides the exhaust and throttle controller, I don't feel like I need much more. Although I'd like a little bit more, but car itself is covered in dust but what are you yeah. checking hey, hey nothing what are you checking no, just checking belts and pulleys just making sure nothing is getting a bit too worn out mm. <clears throat> I did uh, I did test the winch this morning just to double check I have wheeled it right out um, before I left we won't need it anyway no, we're probably going to need it. <laughs> we're probably going to need it. To help tow everyone else out. We're the only one that's um, unlocked. Well, yeah, unlocked. Everyone else has got lockers. I just think I need to give it a bit more right boot. What do you think? Bloody hey. <laughs> Make a screen. So, yeah, just hit that lemmy. <laughs> lemmy. But I'm pretty excited. It may not seem it, but I am. This is going to be the best part. Excitement and um, fear and nervousness, all of it, all the emotions. Just for me holding the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Get the shot. But um, hold the torch. Hold, hold, the, hold torch. the torch. Grab me my spanner. <laughs> um, other than that, I'm just going to have to let you go until we hit the track, and then you'll see us then. Let's do it. Hey. 
Sitting on they ass, bitch, I'm on the rail I rap it, I bag it, I pack it for sale Got feeling on speed out, I hit me the chill I give it a thrill, I put it on film Niggas for side, get a plot, that ain't real Come to my section and flex, we can tell I got a show and she dipping them nails I'm flipping my L's, I know they can tell I did it too major, they hit me for favors Been him since the cable was cut in the crater What's up, only right that I do it Colossal until I'm a boss, so they want me to fail Look, we prevail, tell them the point out Who said it, they run it, bitch, I'm a... I definitely picked one of the two lesser dangers, but this is what we're expecting for this trip. It's it's gonna be wet. So we'll just wait for the big moments. Yeah. What are you saying? Big big bogs already. <laughs> Currently running an anchor for Michael to pull the camera car, Matt's camera car out. Not even two kilometers into the tally track. So, it's like for maybe five o'clock in the afternoon. Darcy and I are gonna be the first ones to hit Palm Creek because we're the lighter out of the cars and that's saying something with the cruiser that um, there's some heavier vehicles going through. So, I'm just gonna have a go at Palm Creek. It is absolutely shit. Dave, I will have a quick shot for you. And uh, let's, I don't know what to say. I'm you got it, nervous. brother. I'm nervous you got it, hell, brother. Man. You got this. Nah, you're fine. Head down. Good, mate. Good. 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 Give it another crack. You want to have another crack? Yep. Yeah, yeah, your wheels are dead. Just keep it straight. Ah. Should be. Oh, oh. A few moments later. Inches later. Maybe go far. It might go the opposite. Fuck! That's alright. Seen that? Mean? Seen that coming? Max tracks. Max tracks. No, this is why you honestly buy good quality recovery gear because this Hercules dog shit just clean shit. I've never seen that up before. Shouldn't have, right? shouldn't have, shouldn't have cleared. That's that could have killed someone. Right, you're on your own. Back up. Oh, you got it. No, you're right. Holy, bro. 
That was nuts. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Holy. Right, I need to give a massive shout out to the bro, Stan, from Carol CHPP Consultancy. He's a good friend of mine and he helped sponsor this Cape York trip. So if you're an experienced trade and you're looking for a new change of work and you're in the CHPP business, hit the lad up. Link's in the description. Go check out their website, give him a message, send him a resume. You know what to do. So last night was pretty epic. We camped at Palm Tree Creek. A few little issues in the morning. Pretty much my tires popped a bead somehow. I think mud's got into the bead and it just keeps leaking. So we're gonna pull that off today, clean it. Also, I'm not getting enough charge into my battery. So the next option is to try and park it into some sun. I've got an extra solar blanket running. Cause uh, I had to shut off a fridge last night. <laughs> so it's been, been quite the day so today so today everyone's gonna everyone else is gonna have a go at getting up they're gonna take this other route it's not very good but we've got a few cars on this side now so we're gonna use them as anchors um, and then continue on this that palm tree creek is pretty it never used to be like this it was pretty much gunshot now so it's like three four meters vertical drop 90 degrees straight down and none of the cars can do it because we're all too heavy We've all heard other people do it and wipe out the whole front end, so it's not something that we're gonna risk. But um, the exit I took yesterday was pretty gnarly, and um, I think I've bent, sidestep, I've popped a bead, or well, mud's gotten into my bead, I've got 30% battery, 30% left on my lithium battery. I've got a lot going on today, so today is Mr. Fix It. And also we gotta try and hang out some washing because two boys in one car equals stinky car. So, tire was great success. It's on, clean the bead. Um, we're gonna check the other front. Front's looking a bit, how you going? And the brakes are absolutely clogged with mud. So, we're gonna have a big dig and just trying to get the maintenance up, do some good maintenance so we can uh, keep going on the track. Whew. One tire down, Davo. Hey. One tire down. One tire down. One tire down. One so there's going to be a fair bit of action this morning. The boys have built uh, pretty much a highway out of the second crossing. So I don't think they should have many dramas getting up. But <sighs> they sent us over first. Oh wow, they really dug it out. They're going to have a good time in here. That's how it's done. Well done. Well done We're good. <laughs> Sounded good too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You,
I'm not moving. <laughs> You're bomb. <laughs> so we've managed to uh, make our way for one of our stops on the tally track, Birdie Creek. So far, the tally track has not disappointed. Hey, it's been fucking awesome. Yeah. So we've got a bit of a campsite now, fresh water. Oof. Beautiful. The slowly getting done. The washing's it. getting done. We've got to start a fire soon. Still having a bit of drama with my 12 volt system. I don't know what to do with it. It's not charging properly. Campsite. We've got your mates. We've got Explore Life. We've got Semi Isles. Michael, dare to explore. Damien, I mean Darcy, <laughs> in the uh, back there. And then you got us. And then John with his car, camera car. But so far, everything has been absolutely, my hair is wet because I just went for a swim. Uh, so far, everything has just been awesome. We had the problem with the tires, but no dramas with the tires. So many creek crossings to wash the car underneath. So we haven't had any dramas with the tires so far. Time to settle in, have a few drinks, have a few yarns. That's about it. I don't really have much else to say. It's just... So much, I'm just trying to check in when I can and give you guys a bit of an update other than just showing you footage all day. But even then, there's some big rigs in this convoy, so it's been a lot of fun so far. Still got gunshot and Nolan's. Gonna say this now, I'm not doing gunshot. Like, I'm just not. Like, let everyone else do it and I'll film it, whatever. But we're lucky to get this far. We're lucky to get this far. <laughs> I'm just old reliable and I want to stay that way for now. So I've, um, Palm Creek kind of scared the shit out of me. It was just a gnarly exit. And, um, one of those things they had to send guinea pigs across to find out if they could do what we did. And they realized that they couldn't. So they had to build a chicken track. That's right. They built a chicken track. <laughs> <laughs> so I fucking winched it and, um, I got there. I got there. That's about it. Like it's right now. We're just going to enjoy the afternoon, a few drinks, a few laughs. What else can you do? Righto, that's the end of Tally Track Part 1. Make sure you stick around for the next episode, the final episode of the Tally Track. And also, don't forget the competition that I'm running as well. All you have to do is be subscribe to the three people that are in my comment, that are in my description Vast Explore, A2 Off Road, and Outback Campers. And you can win yourself some awesome prizes. This is the biggest giveaway I've ever done on the channel. And I'm super stoked and thank you for the businesses that are have been supporting me through this giveaway. I also want to thank the companies that have sponsored the Cape York trip as well. All the links to their socials and all their information is in the description below, guys. Thanks a lot. Tune in in a fortnight's time for the last episode of the Cape York. Trip.